Hey guys, how you doing? Alan Kirby here. So I got a hoodie on. It's a summer, but it's fucking chilly outside. Like, it's real chilly this morning. I was in a tank top. I had to run back in and uh, put a hoodie put a hoodie on. It was pretty cold. It's a pretty crazy Friday night. Uh, we were dead for the most part. For a Friday, that's unusual. Like, we didn't have a bar rush. Uh, it wasn't non-stop. So, it was just crazy. You know... I was telling Alan, the new guy, um, how crazy it was on the weekends, how crazy it can be on Fridays and Saturdays, and it wasn't even fucking crazy. Not really any assholes or anything last night either. The only asshole was we had this redneck come in, and he said our coffee wasn't brown enough. So he's like, you gotta think stronger, boy. He's one of them fucking faggot ass rednecks. That wake up early in the morning to go fishing because they don't have a fucking life. And I'm like, yeah, the gourmet and the Colombian's pretty strong. He said, this shit looks watered down, boy. And then he proceeds to fucking throw the cup. So a customer looks at him and goes, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> and he just like walks away. He was like, oh shit, this guy called me a fucking asshole. I better walk away. Other than that, yeah, that was like the only fucking asshole of the night. Pretty much I just stuck Alan on register and just ran around and did all the fucking side work. It's so weird calling somebody else my fucking name. You know, Alan. It's weird. You know, I had a friend one time with the same name as me. And it was like hard calling him Alan too. It's just weird calling somebody your own fucking name. Even though at work they call me Larry. Which is my real name. Uh, I'm a junior so pretty much so there's no confusion they've always called me my middle name which is Alan you know so if we're, me and my dad are out in public and somebody's like hey Larry we both don't turn around you know just for confusion's sake so I told him a million times that people outside call me Larry or call me Alan sorry and they still continue to call me Larry and everybody's like well why don't you correct them why don't you tell them that they call you Alan I'll tell you where I have like a million fucking times and it's just a habit for them to call me Larry so I'm pretty much like whatever I don't care what you fucking call me as long as you give me my paycheck I don't give a shit what you call me you call me queer boy you can call me bitch you can call me Fagatron. I don't care what the fuck you call me. As long as you give me my fucking check, whatever. You can pee on my feet for all I give a shit. As long as I get paid and I'm able to pay my fucking bills. So, and I also had this weird customer come up tonight. Uh, I knew him from a mutual friend. He's friends with one of my friends. So, he comes up, and he asked me the, one of the craziest fucking questions anyone's asked me in a while. It was him, and he had another guy with him outside. So, I was talking to him for a little while, and I had to go in because I had work to do. And, uh, he comes up, he goes, can I ask you a question, maybe talk to you outside or, or something? I just got a question for you. I was like... You know, whatever you got to say, you can just say it to me now. Like, I don't feel like walking outside. It's cool. I'm not going to judge you. I've done my dirt. We all have. So he goes, well, my friend's a, uh, a needle user. And he seems to think that he dropped his heroin needle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a fucking idiot. So he, um, his friend also came up to me earlier. Uh, he was like, can I use your bathroom? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. Just leave me the fuck alone. I don't really care. So he's in there for a while. And he comes out and he walks up to me and he stops me from fucking trying to get shit done. And he goes, I just want you to know I was in your bathroom for a while, but I wasn't doing drugs. Which usually means you were doing drugs. 
whatever. It's not my bathroom. I fucking don't really care. As long as I don't see it and nobody else sees it, I really don't fucking care. So. Anyway, back to what I was saying. And he pretty much was like, you know, my friend lost his heroin needle. He said, do you think you could help me look for it? No, I'm not going to help you look for a heroin needle. Well, I saw you sweeping up the parking lot. Do you think you swept it up? No, I wouldn't notice if I swept up a heroin needle. Well, can I check the trash cans? Yeah, you want to dig in the trash cans? Go ahead, I don't care. So, eventually they just leave. He comes back in. He's like, I'm sorry for getting you in this shit, man. I'm like, it's really not that big of a deal because I don't do drugs, so I fucking don't care. It's just weirdos like that and make this job fucking crazy. Well, it's days off Eve. It's Saturday, which means after tonight I got two nights off. Can't wait. I've been fucking waiting forever. <sighs> it's been a long fucking week. Sometimes at this job we just have weeks that seem like months. <laughs> it's just... Stupid shit has happened. It's just stressful. Everybody wants to bitch at you. Everybody expects you to be their fucking therapist. I don't care about your life. Get your shit and get the fuck away from me. I don't care. I'm there to do my time and I'm there to clock the fuck out. Like these people act like I give a shit about their life. I don't. I have my own fucking problems. I don't need to take on your problems. I'm not Dr. Phil McGraw. If you have that many problems, maybe you need to go on the Dr. Phil show. I don't know. Like, these people assume that I, I give a fuck. But Sunday and Monday, I can just stay in my own little bubble. I can stay in my own little fucking zone. I don't have to talk to any creeps. I don't have to really talk to anybody. You know, most of the time we go out on Sunday and Monday. We go to the farmer's market, sometimes the mall. So it's just nice to fucking just not have to have people constantly in my fucking face. I can try to, I can kind of just blend in with the rest of the people and just be a customer myself. But not give anybody a hard time because I know how it is. Well, I'm about to get off here, guys. As I said, it's days off Eve. One of my favorite days. Uh, I don't mind Saturdays because I know once I get off, it's clear sailing from there. The assistant manager has been really cool to me lately. He gave me this pretty cool uh, Caltails cup. That I'll show you after this clip. Of course I had to film it because I fucking film everything. Well guys, if you're off, enjoy your Saturday. If you have to work, hopefully it goes quick so you can get off and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know I'm going to enjoy my weekend. Get through this Saturday, have Sunday and Monday night off. Alright guys, well have a good Saturday. For now, I'm Curb. Fuck your couch, motherfucker. I'm out. There it is, guys. It's the official Caltails Cup. Look at that. That's a badass fucking cup, brah. No, I'm just gonna put all kinds of like random shit in it. Like buttons or change. That's a pretty cool little cup. Can't beat it for free. And the handle has a little tail. Now I just want to show you guys my cup. Because I'm weird. Have a good day guys.